Hello everyone, this is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report. Yes indeed, an Energy Drink Review. Probably for the last video that we're doing for 2019, which is... it's insane. We're gonna do a little more of a, a casual type review today. And I want to try out an energy drink, go back to our roots, go back to the basic roots with the Energy Crisis series. And it's always, it's always funny how this is. Uh, I do these reviews, you know, so seldom, right, because so often, I mean, you know how it is, right? I do the videos with the food, and uh, I always go, you know, running on empty, uh, which is always the name of the series, you know? It's running on empty, which is the food review series, and then I say food review. So, Obviously, when I do the energy crisis videos, it's like, you know, this is the energy crisis series, but it's, you know, it's got a little flair to it, the energy drink report, like that. I'm just trying to, I don't know what I'm doing right now, but either way, we got an energy drink review, and uh, yeah, we're going to be finishing off the year with it, which, uh, again, it's crazy how it is during this, uh, wow, during New Year's. Crazy. I am, I'm breaking out the, uh, the frock coat, though. I figure I want to go with a little more of, like, a, uh, formal attire, if it's, if it's possible. And I figure, well, I got my frock coat here. I don't think you can really see it all too well, but it is. It's a, uh, it's a garment. I think the last time I wore it was for the 500,000 subscriber video back in 2017. But it still, it still fits. It's still in one piece. Uh, thankfully it wasn't lost during the great spillage and in early 2018, which maybe I just made up for dramatic effect, but either way. On to the review. Uh, we're trying out a monster, a monster energy drink. Those always do well. I'm always, monster is probably my, you know, my favorite. I always like <clears throat> the monster drinks. I'm always a fan of them. And uh, this is part of the, uh, well, let's see, Monster Energy Ultra Paradise. You can see it's got the green can right there. It really does kind of stand out. It's a vibrant green. Can we get that again? Look at that. It's even reflecting off like it's got some supernatural power. Be careful. Don't look into that, though, because it'll do things to you. Trust me, you don't want to go there. So it's a, it's, a, it's a place that no one should. Monster Energy, Ultra Paradise. Uh, this is part of like the, the Zero Ultra type of uh, series. And of course, it's the white can is the big popular one, right, for the boomers and all that stuff. Um, but this is kind of going along the lines. Th this is for the people who are elevated, right? You, you've already been through the white can days. Now you're at the green can. Zero calories, zero sugar. Uh, nutrition facts. Serving size, eight fluid ounces, two servings per container. Uh, zero calories, zero fat, uh, zero grams of sugar, zero grams of protein. So, of course, you know, they're trying to be more for if you're health conscious. Uh, you know, if you want to do the New Year's resolutions and you want to guzzle down this monster, uh, you know, all, all is up to you. Uh, it does have uh, niacin, vitamin B6, B12, uh, etc. Uh, some of the other ingredients, I always go through the nutritional statistics here. Uh, carbonated water, citric acid, taurine, sodium citrate, potassium sorbate as a preservative. Caffeine. Uh, let's see what else, if there's anything else worth mentioning. Here we go. Let's see what the caffeine is for this one. Monster Energy Blend. Taurine, caffeine, L-carnitine, and ositol. Caffeine from all sources, 70 milligrams per 8 fluid ounces, 140 milligrams per can. All right, so it's not a ton of caffeine, um, but maybe enough to kind of get you going. So, you know, it's 140 for this whole can. I've seen more, um, but again, I think it'll definitely kind of start, start you off anyway, or it'll really give you a boost, however, whatever your tolerance is, really. And uh, here's the best part, <clears throat> the little inscription right here. So let's let's uh, clear my throat so it'll be in good reading today. <clears throat> <clears throat> there we go. All right, here's what they have to say. Where is paradise? A chalet on the slopes? A streamside ranch? Or a penthouse in the city? How about a private island with a white sand beach, turquoise water, and a gentle tropical breeze? Monster Ultra Paradise, pure, crisp, invigorating island flavors. Kick back and enjoy Paradise 
is wherever you can find it. Unleash the Ultra Beast. MonsterEnergy.com and then all the various medias right there. So this one's getting a little uh, a little introspective. You know, some of them are kind of in your face. They're like, this is the best. This is the this is what it is. This is the you know the thing. Uh, this one is kind of they're making you think. It's taking a philosophical outlook. Well, what is paradise? And that's why I think this is the perfect drink for the new year. When, when of course, the decade, now we're going to be in the 2020s. It's going to be a new decade, right? As uh, the calendar shifts, we're entering into 2020. We kind of get a little, a little retrospective. We're looking back at the last year, maybe the last 10 years. Uh, what's happened, what we accomplished, what we weren't able to, our successes, our failures, uh, what we have planned for the future. And this is perfect for it. What is paradise? Is paradise a real place, or is paradise merely a state of mind? But they claim, hey, you drink this, it'll taste good, and maybe it'll get you there, maybe it won't. So uh, either way, we'll find out what it tastes like. There we go. I wonder if it's going to be green in color, what it's going to be like. Let's pour this out. We're going to go with the uh, the Pilsner glass today. Harking back to my, uh, I think it was fifth, fourth video. I was calling it the Dilsner glass, but it is a Pilsner. With the P. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that again. Isn't that something? Look at that. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of green. <laughs> It's like a, uh, not quite totally green. Oh, wow. Isn't, isn't that something? Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that, isn't that something? It's always, it's always so cool whenever I, I do these and you get to see them in these, uh, exotic colors there. There I am. You can see my eye looking at you right there. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's kind of like a, uh, it's like a green. It's like a, uh, a bit of a blue green, maybe a turquoise green. Carbonated though. And uh, how about we give it a, uh, give it a try. I always like it when it's in these exotic colors. All right, so it is Monster Energy Ultra Paradise going in. I'm wishing every one of you a happy and healthy new year. No, it's not bad at all. I think Monster... I remember saying this when I tried out the Zero Ultra a couple couple weeks back, or however long ago it was. That's what it feels like, anyway. I remember I said, when I first tried it, back in 2013, oh, I hated it. I, 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 it, it filled me with disgust. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> but, you know, they got their act together, and maybe it's just an acquired taste, but I really think they did change the recipe, and it was a lot better. And this is good. I'm a fan of this, too. For something that has zero sugar, zero calories, we read off all the, uh, the statistics there, right? You, you know that there's not a lot in it. They still find a way to make it taste good. And in doing so, it, it just doesn't taste like it's full of this, you know, artificial sweetener or all this synthetic stuff. Which, I mean, you know, it is. Uh, there's, no, there's no lying about that. Nothing to be ashamed of with that either. But the fact that they're able to cover that up and not make it seem so th synthetic, but it still has a sweetness. It doesn't have this tart flavor, nor does it taste, you know, unnatural or, or like chemic chemically, you know, doesn't have this chemical synthetic taste, but they make it really tasty. It's of course carbonated, but it's like, it's refreshing. This is a refreshing drink. It could be taken at any time of year. I mean, here we're, we're in the midst of winter right now, the midst of, of winter, but we're still drinking this down. I see this more as like a tropical type of beverage, but it's good for any time of year. Um, but it's got this sweetness. And then it's got this pleasant, it's like this fruity type of taste, but the prevailing, interestingly enough, so they kind of make it seem like it's ultra paradise to make you think that it's maybe going to be like, um, 
whatever, pineapple, you know, that type of flavor. I taste a distinct, almost green apple type of flavor in there. And it's just fascinating. That is the most pronounced flavor, I would say, easily. Maybe that's what they're kind of going with, like the green color here. Yeah, there's that sweetness. There's like this green apple flavor that's very distinct. And then after that is like this other little like fruity tropical type of blend. I wouldn't go out of the bat though and say that this is a, a tropical, you know, tropical fruit flavored beverage. Because again, I taste that green apple first and then some, you know, just like a, a fruit blend maybe. Uh, so that's what it comes down to. But overall, very, very interesting. I like it though. I've never had it before. I think it's a new release. Well, fairly new anyway. It was released in 2019. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think for what it is, it's definitely good. Definitely good. I would say it's a buy. I got this for around, I think it was $1.99 or so at the, uh, at the supermarket. And yeah, I'm a fan of it. Tastes good. And I think Monster, they really got their act together with these uh, zero calorie, zero sugar type beverages. I think they were just, whatever they did, whatever changes they made, however they redid the blend, they did a good job. And I think this is just another good one. I think it's tasty, it's flavorful. Monster, you guys did a good job. They're 4 out of 10. I'm going to give it a straight 8 out of 10. 8.0 flat out of 10. I think it's a deserving drink of it. I really don't have anything to criticize it on. And again, the caffeine content could have a little more, but I, I know people have their sensitivities to it. That's completely understandable. And again, I think it'll still get you going no matter what. All right, so with that, this is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Probably the final review I'm going to be doing for 2019. And it's just, wow, time flies, but it's, it's just so crazy. But here we are at a new year. And uh, with that, I can proudly say uh, I think 2020 is going to be a good year. I think it's going to be a big year. And uh, I know we're going to keep the videos going, the reviews going into 2020, into this next decade. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So bear with me. And I think I can say I'll be seeing you next year. Thank you and do take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Have a happy new year.